Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. Oh. Hey, Joy. And this is Soraya Sobadaz. I don't date turkeys or zombies. Blueberry, cheesecake, vegan, pumpkin. Papi, it's my birthday, and I'm gonna eat this all by myself pie. So let's try. Hola's, hi, this is Soraya Subadal, the queen of healthy Latin cooking. You're here at Soraya Spears Kitchen, cooking show, and now Soraya Spears Grand Life. This cooking episode is my first filmed out of my van during van life, my attempt. Now, I think it's been five months of van life, and the month of March is my birthday. Let me just say that. Actually, tomorrow is my birthday, March 23rd, and March was also the month for 2020 that uh, COVID-19, the coronavirus, and social distancing and all of that is being put into place, the reduction of workforce. A lot of us are going through some really incredible changes. I am going through this experience right along with all of you, but as a van dweller, attempting van life for the first time. The fan is open, and so that's good. We got some circulation going as I'm preheating my Coleman oven, which is already at 300 degrees. So because it's my birthday, I really wanted to make a special pie to celebrate, because I'll be celebrating alone and social distancing here in my van, but I'll be thinking of all of you as I prepare this and eat this, and my friends and family and all of that. But I will be dining alone here. Uh, certainly some social distancing. Now the recipe that I'm preparing, it's a vegan recipe mostly. The ingredients in this pie that are questionable I will mention just as a note. The queen of healthy Latin cooking is super fabulous, super desirable, and super lovable. <laughs> So I said, my dad comes to you with this recipe. I don't date turkeys or zombies, blueberry, cheesecake, sugar-free, gluten-free, pumpkin, vegan, papito, it's my birthday during the COVID-19 crisis pot. There you go, we got it. That's this recipe. So the oven is almost at 350 degrees. We're preheating her. Let's go through the ingredients. Now, in van life, I don't cook as much quantity. So I've been searching for a smaller serving of pumpkin. And I came across Gerber Baby Food has two little plastic canisters in here of pumpkin puree. Absolutely pure pumpkin. No added salt, no added sugar, no added starch. Totally, 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 totally pumpkin. So this has a total of eight ounces. I also use as a dairy component, soy milk. Now this is not the brand. It's just stored in this container. Now Foods has a soy milk powder that I feel is the best. It goes into coffees as creamer really nicely. It doesn't have any sodium whatsoever where this one has sodium. I use Now Foods soy milk powder. We're adding a quarter cup of this. We're using Maple Grove Farms gluten-free pancake and waffle mix. So we're using a half a cup of this. Now you could use this. I also have for Paleo, Diamond Almond brand Paleo flour, but I've used that flour and it tends to be a little bit more crumbly for me. And so it's my birthday and I want a really nice pie, all right, because I'm not dating any turkeys or zombies, so food's got to be good, honey, extra good. <laughs> and then I want you guys to try this recipe and say, oh, you know, the gluten-free flour, whatever, whatever, try it, try it, try it. So we're using a half a cup of gluten-free flour. We're using a third cup of chuvia. We're going to add some fat to this. I'm adding olive oil and I'm going to use four tablespoons of olive oil in this recipe. I found this online in Amazon. Um, McCormick extract. Usually I would use vanilla. I'm using a tablespoon of this cake batter flavor, which I never saw before. And I've been using it a few times with other recipes of pies, pumpkin based, uh, gluten free. And I really like the flavor. It's like vanilla, but, but cake batter flavor. Okay. Now this is a cheesecake blueberry pumpkin. So you see where the pumpkin is coming from. The blueberries are fresh blueberries. I have six ounces. I'm most likely going to add three ounces or more. You know, the, the more berry, the berrier. <laughs> it'll be sweeter. You know, it's fresh berries. It'll be beautiful. 
And then, this is the optional ingredient that really makes it jump up to a cheesecake flavor. Without this item, she would just be a vanilla blueberry pumpkin pie. But with this product, let me see, this is Jell-O cheesecake flavor, sugar-free. Hard to find, well, yes it is, but you can get this online on Amazon. So, it sells in quantities of six or so. I really, really like this. Um, I believe it is totally vegan. The only thing that's in here, it doesn't say any milk product at all. No allergens, no peanut, no milk, no egg, no wheat. This is cornstarch based, but it does have artificial sweetener. It does have aspartame. And I have my Invisalign on, so if I suck my teeth a lot, that's what's going on. Um, so, this is something that's optional, but it jumps the flavor up to cheesecake flavor. Now, this is a pudding that's supposed to go into cold fat-free milk. None of this is cold. This is going to get heated. But when you cool the pie down, that's when this comes into play. The flavor is there, but then it forms nicely in the fridge or in the cooler where I'm going to place it. Because once this pie is done, you want to refrigerate it. You want to actually have it the next day. Refrigerate it overnight. It doesn't happen for me here in van life. I could keep it in the cooler overnight, but I'm having this today. So, or tonight. <laughs> and you'll see. I always will have to go by. Uh, the tape editing. Uh, but this adds the cheesecake flavor. And it gives it like that more of a rich consistency because this is a pudding element going into a baking. So it makes it moist like any pudding would be in a cake mix. Same concept. Same thing. It's a shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Oh, don't, don't sweat, sweat about, about Corona. corona. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be okay. okay. Shake, shake your, your booty. booty. Cook, cook some, some healthy, healthy food. food. Oh, cook, 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 cook baby. baby. Cook, 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 cook some healthy, healthy food. food. With a bobby chulo. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Shake, 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 or fork or a spoon, measuring cups, measuring spoons. This is not a very big kitchen, but we'll make it work, all right? All right, my darling, so we'll be back, yeah! So I so with us this cooking show. Mm -hmm. Hello, here we are. We're gonna start with placing the pumpkin. We have the two tubes here. We're gonna add the first one. Okay, we're gonna add all of her every drop. I'm like that kind of an eater. Being uh, someone who was 220 pounds maintaining weight loss, I mean every ounce, every drop is my servings here. Shoot, it's my birthday too. I'm gonna keep saying that through this whole episode. It's my birthday. It's my pie and I'll eat every drop if I want to. Every drop if I want to. Every drop if I want to. Because I'm making it with love and it's very healthy. All of that is so subjective, but it's my birthday and I'll eat what I want. But I prefer healthy food, healthy, delicious food. You would want it too if you weighed 220 pounds like I did. Oh, that was not fun because it's my birthday and I'm making a gluten-free, sugar-free pie. Some of the ingredients are natural, some of them are chemicals, but hey, life's not perfect, especially when we're living through COVID-19. Oh. Okay, so that was the pumpkin. This is a half cup measuring cup. It's nice to sift, but we're living in a van. But honey, we are living in a van, child. Through COVID-19, we'll get through this. Now is not the time to date turkeys or zombies. So be really careful about that out there, you know. Social distancing, especially from turkeys and zombies. This is not the time to get hooked up with a zombie or a turkey. I think turkeys are even worse. When a dude's a turkey, that is not fun. Not fun. Now, like I said, this ends up being much nicer to mix with a whisk. We don't have a whisk, so we're doing it like this. 
Now, I stated a third cup of trivia. Van Life doesn't have too many options to have all the measurement cups, every particular size. So I'm just going to eye it and say that that's one third of a cup from a half a cup. A little less than half a cup, right? That makes sense. And that's our sweetener. Now we're going to go with the extract, which is the cake batter flavor, which I think is so amazing. You should try it. It's thick. Look at this color, which I think is so interesting. All right, and while we have a little bit of liquid going on, we're gonna add our fat. You would think that olive oil would add the olive oil taste to the pie, but absolutely not. I think I'm gonna just do two. I'm gonna just do two. I said four, but I'm gonna just do two. I used to bake these pies totally fat-free with no fat at all. So we're just gonna mix that because you don't wanna splatter that around a little bit at all. Okay. I think now is the time to add another powdered ingredient, which is the Jello cheesecake, sugar-free mix, powder. Shake, 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 shake. Shariah is shaking her new booty and her new tetas. Thank God for estrogen and HRT and my great doctor, who's so fabulous. Ah, oh. you hear that? Lately, with the corona thing going on here in New York City, like people have been driving the wildest cars. Like late at night, there were like these motorcycles that were all lit up like space age. I, just, I don't do drugs and I don't dr drink and I, you know, I'm not smoking weed, nothing. But it was like a parade, like at 9 o'clock at night of all these like pimped out motorcycles that had these lights and the wheels. It was like, it was like space age. It was wild. So it's been a lot of like drag racing, like if I was in California, or like RuPaul's Drag Race, that kind of thing. Crazy. Really insane. Now you see how that's getting like thick? That's because of the pudding mix. It's cool such. Anyway, it's really getting thick. Oh my God. Nice. Now the final ingredient is blueberries. And add as much as you want. Or as little. I think that's enough. We're just gonna fold that in. Isn't that a cute word for stirring? We're just gonna fold that in. It's like so cool. It's folded. <laughs> so we're gonna just take this out of the way for a sec. Bring down this hot stuff. Some Donna Summer, because that pan is hot. It was on top of the Coleman oven, which I thank God for. Cooking spray, butter flavor. Okay, okay cool. Now we're gonna bring in the mix. Every drop, every drop. Now you notice that's nice and stiff there, right? Now, you could add baking powder to this. I don't like messing with baking powder. I just don't. I don't know why I don't like it. Now the consistency of this is very, very thick. It's not like, this is a pie, so it's not a cake. I didn't get my water on the side there to make this cute, but this is cute. Because with this being wet, it could make a nicer swirl. What I will do though, which I always do, is just spray the top. The cooking spray. Alright, and now I'm going to pop this in the oven. Let's do it. First time you get to see my oven, my Coleman. See, she has temperature here. She's right now at 350. I want to get her to 375. See the little rack in there? We're placing her on top. Being very still in the van that that stays up there. Okay, she closes. She's at 350. I'm going to bring up the heat because I want her to get to 375 for 30 to 35 minutes. Okay? I'm going to start the timer now and we'll be back. Bye. Be back. Love you. Stay clean. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wash your hands right now while, while we're waiting, okay? All right. And call a friend. Call your grandmother, your mother, your sisters, your brothers. Make sure everybody's okay. And call uh, a transgender person if you know of any and make sure they're okay, okay? Hey, the timer. She just went off. I had her in there for 35 minutes. Let's see the loving that's in the oven. Oh my God, she looks fabulous from afar. That's what they say about me. And then when they come up close, they can see my bumps. So, you know, all the imperfections and all that stuff. She looks lovely. You're gonna get a full view in just a moment. Yay! Hey, 
so she's done. Look at her, she's a beauty queen. She looks so beautiful. That's what they say about me, right? But when they get real close, they mira, una vieja ya la acaba, mira sus stitches a la cara. She got razor bumps still. But from afar, this pie, like me, is a beauty. And once you get to taste the pie, like you get to know me, you really get to see what's really important how tasty the pie is and hopefully how nice I am <laughs> and how well I can cook for you and this is Soraya Sobedaz I don't date turkeys or zombies sugar free low sugar right blueberry cheesecake pumpkin vegan papito it's my birthday in COVID-19 era pie that's right darling so now she's out of the oven as you could see she needs to stay in room temperature for about an hour kind of cool her down on her own and then she gets refrigerated for about three to four hours so i'm gonna leave her out for a bit i'm gonna go take a walk when i come back i'll put her in the cooler cool her off and then we'll have a slice with a generous amount of cool whip because it's my birthday i'm going with regular cool whip and a whole lot okay baby we'll be back Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I can't believe it, it's time to have some of my pie. I don't have a pie cutter basically, but I'm going to use this. Uh, it's too, you know, whatever with the dough. But here we go, one, slice over, two, slice over, three, slice over. And I'm going to take one of the big ones. I am. Where's my plate? Oh, she's underneath my Batman plate. Okay. So I'm gonna cut that again like that. Since it's my birthday, it's my birthday and I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna have one of the big slices. And I'm gonna layer it down like that. Yes. Oh, she's full of blueberries. Mm. Now, do you see? Do you see all the blueberry that's in that? It's chock full of blueberries. It's amazing. And like I said, it's my birthday. I get to do whatever I want. Within reason, of course. On social distancing on my birthday. <laughs> I'm going to put a dollop of Cool Whip on her. That's not enough. That's enough. So you get to see her like that on that beautiful angle. Right, right. And if I didn't have enough blueberries, I'm just gonna add a few there like that. There you go. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. And this is Soraya Sorbidaz. I don't date turkeys or zombies. Blueberry, cheesecake, vegan, pumpkin, Papi, it's my birthday, and I'm gonna eat this all by myself pie. So let's try it. We're running low on light, so this is the way it goes. <laughs> but this is the pie, and she looks so beautiful, right? You can see her, right? She's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But it's time to taste her. It's my birthday and I'm practicing social distancing by eating by myself. By eating by myself, but I've been practicing social distancing for a really long time. <laughs> by choice, by choice. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. I haven't had the jello cheesecake in a while. So delicious this concludes the recipe and i want to end by gratitude gratitude that i had the courage to transition um as soraya sabadar the queen of healthy latin cooking full time that i chose van life for solvency that i'm safe that i'm healthy for today right day at a time that i started doing videos again that I'm on estrogen on a really nice level with patches for my therapist at the center, for my friends, my family, my support group, you know, Lillian over there, Mount Sinai. Hey, Lillian again! Hey, Mount Sinai, hey! 
and that you try this recipe at home. I have all the ingredients in the video and that you support Soraya's Fierce Van Life, Soraya's Fierce Cooking Show. Okay? Take care. Take care. Bye. Mm. Mm. See ya. Bye. Take care. Bye. Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey, feels like you're all alone. You need a new recipe, well, I'm the one to see. Tiny rolls along you, wanna hear my song. So welcome to my show. Oh, welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. My show is so hot, honey. The vegan meat, the gluten-free, the dairy-free. Oh. Hey, girl.